Hey guys, welcome to Divine Conversations. My name is Eric. Thank you so much for joining me. If you are new to the channel, welcome. It is very nice to meet you. And if you're returning, what's up squad? So, a Twin Flame Weekly, guys. Let's get into it. How are we doing? Everybody okay? Okay. Yeah, I hear. Yes, we are. Um, uh, just a little bit of shop talk. I am officially open for personal readings. So if you would like to get a reading with me, all you got to do is just check the description box below. I have a list of um, the readings that I offer, a bit of a description about them, a description on how to go about getting a reading with me. Um, I highly recommend that you guys read through that um, and read through the reading options and try and pick out one that works best for you. If you can't or if you just can't decide, email me. You'll find my email address in the description box below as well. Um, Email me and let's chat about it and I'll help you decipher which reading to get, yeah? I will be at Om Shanti Bookshop on Monday, tomorrow, <laughs> um, from 11 to 5. Om Shanti Bookshop is located on 14th Street between 2nd and 3rd Avenue in the East Village of a New York City. So if you're in the area and you want to stop by, get a personal reading, or you just want to come by and say hey and check out the shop, please come see me. I would be very, very happy to meet you guys, see you guys, yeah? Okay, so next, um, I wanna give two shout outs. One goes to those of you who have been leaving donations to the channel, thank you so, so very much. I greatly appreciate it. Um, it's, it's really a blessing, honestly. I mean, I'm very happy to do this for all of us, you know, it's helping me too, but, um, the energetic exchange donations are really, really beautiful, and I thank you so much for them. Um, I don't really, you know, advertise donating, nor do I, um, you know, make a suggestion as to how much you want to donate. So it's totally upon you if you'd like to do that. And whatever you feel called to donate is, again, that's totally on you, and it is always greatly appreciated. Um, someone did leave a pretty hefty donation this past week. Um, and it totally took me by surprise. I absolutely did start crying a little bit because it was just, it was just so beautiful. Um, and so to you, you know who you are. Thank you very, 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 very much. I, I greatly appreciate it. I also want to give a shout out to Vicky. Yeah, I'm, I'm putting you on blast, girl. Happy birthday. I did do um, some readings at her birthday party last night here in Brooklyn. And we had a blast. It was really a great experience. And it's definitely something that I would love to do moving forward. So if any of you are having an event and you would like me to make an appearance and do some readings for you guys, I am absolutely 100% down for that one. All you gotta do is just email me and we will set it up, yeah? But happy birthday, Vicky. Thank you so much for inviting me. I had a great time. And let's hang out. <sighs> yeah. <laughs> okay. So the next thing I want to say is this is a general reading um, and I'm absolutely uh, um, modeling it or bringing forward messages for those of us who are anywhere in between union and separation, no contact. Okay, this is just for the collective. Whoever resonates with the messages, um, it is a general message. The energies can be interchanged at any point, even though I am doing Divine Masculine and Divine Feminine, we all have both energies within. So if you are Divine Feminine and you find yourself resonating with the messages of the Divine Masculine, go with it. And vice versa, if you're Divine Masculine and you find yourself resonating with the messages of the Divine Feminine, go with it, okay? This is a general reading and it's for the whole collective. I'm not um, distinguishing between union, non-union, separation, all that stuff. Um, I don't know if I'm going to, um, it's going to take a lot of time, but right now, for right now, I just don't really have the time to do that. Um, and also, I just want to be as inclusive as possible, okay? So this is just for the Twin Flame community. So um, take, the res take the messages as they re resonate, fit them in where they feel, where you feel that they fit. Don't try and squeeze them into a space. Like, don't try and squeeze a square into a, a, a circle. <laughs> yeah, that sort of thing. Um, that's pretty much it. The last thing I wanted to just briefly touch on was the fact that this lunar eclipse that we just had, this, um, you know, the blood moon and all that, it's still a thing, guys. 
uh, word on the street is that we are going to be dealing with that these energies, you know, for the following for the six months after the actual event. Um, we're about a month away from it, so we probably got about five more months to go. Um, and I know for me, it was a major shift, major major shift. Um, and I know a lot of you are experiencing the same thing. Um, and I, I want to reassure you guys that no matter how it may feel in the moment, these are absolutely necessary steps along the journey. Um, I highly recommend, and I've, I've said this a few times in the past, and I'm going to continue to say it because I'm actually gaining a lot of value and a lot of knowledge, information from her, but I highly recommend that you guys uh, keep up with what Aluna Ash is posting um, as far as planetary transits, um, eclipse energies, um, maybe even new moon energies, transmissions, downloads, um, things that are happening in the ascension process. Uh, she is like a gold mine of information. So I highly recommend that you, you know, keep up with her so that you can understand, have a better understanding of what's actually happening to you. You're not going crazy. Things are shifting, okay? Energies are changing. Downloads are happening. Bodies are being rearranged. Things, things are changing, <laughs> okay? So um, I recommend that you follow up with that. But for this last eclipse, there was a lot of redefining of family relationships, interpersonal relationships, uh, maybe even job, career, things like that. Uh, a lot of things have been illuminated, brought up to the surface that need adjusting. And so we're going to be going through that. And that absolutely has to do with the energies between the twins, Divine Masculine and Divine Feminine. Um, and I know for a fact that Divine Feminine is really has really been in the process of stepping into her power. Not only stepping into her power, but stepping into her masculine power as well. The same is going on with the Divine Masculine. However, for the Divine Masculine, when it comes to the Divine Feminine energy, um, it's way more tumultuous. Because now, you know, you're all up in your feelings. You're dealing with those emotions that you have been hiding from for so long. Um, Divine Feminine is stepping into her... Uh, divine feminine power, but also integrating her masculine power, and that's coming out in a lot of ways. Um, that could be coming out in the sense of, uh, in a sense, disconnecting from your twin in certain cases. Um, you know, closing the doors energetically. I mean, again, that's a necessary part of the process, and that's happening because the divine feminine is really starting to understand her worth and her value, and is no longer in a position to, or in an energy of, or a mindset of wanting to subject herself to anything less than what she is worthy of. And the Divine Masculine is starting to get into that lesson. Um, it's a hard lesson to learn, guys. It was hard for the Divine Feminine, it's gonna be hard for the Divine Masculine, you know, it's just, it's just the way it is. Okay. All right, I'm going to stop rambling, and I'm going to get into the cards. Yeah, let's do this. Okay, so this is a normal mirror reading. Yeah, I've got my two decks. Deck on the left is going to symbolize the Divine Masculine. De deck on the right is going to symbolize Divine Feminine. We've got the Animal Spirit Guides, or the Animal Spirit Deck, which is going to give us a, some more information about the relationship from the Animal Spirits. And then I'm going to be closing out the reading with Oracle Guidance from the Lightworker Oracle. Yeah, that's been working really well in the past, so I'm going to keep up with it. Okay, so without further ado, let's get started. Everybody take a deep breath. Let's all connect. Clear our minds. Here we go. Hi, Spirit. Please make me a clear channel for the Twin Flame Collective. Please give us the best messages for the Twin Flame Collective to serve the highest good of all involved. Please show us an accurate representation of the Divine Masculine's energies represented by the deck on the left and the Divine Feminine's energies represented by the deck on the right. And please show us how they are interacting with each other both individually and as Divine Twin Flames and how they are mirroring each other. Yes, or even potentially mirroring each other too. That works. <laughs> Thank you so much, Spirit. All 
All right, guys. All right, all right, all right. Let's get into it, yeah? Shuffling for the Divine Masculine first. Divine Masculine. How you doing? Getting through it, I hear. Okay. That's good. Many of you are still resisting. Um, okay. Some are and some aren't. I mean, I am talking to the whole the whole collective here. But I am picking up on some energies of resistance. Whether you're in union or not, there are still some things that you're resisting a sort of transformation around. And... Yeah, the divine is saying it's okay. I mean, that's all okay. This is all an experiment. An experiment in free will, an experiment in the twin flame dynamic. It's all good. All right, one more shuffle for you, divine masculine. I am seeing orange for you. Um, so again, you're really dealing with your emotional body, your emotions as a whole, coming to terms with them, understanding them. Learning about them, yeah? Okay, cool. So Divine Masculine, your energies are set. Let's get into the Divine Feminine. Again, still seeing purple. Divine Wisdom, Intellect, Intuition. This is good. Uh-oh. Get back up there. Divine Feminine. Divine Feminine, Divine Feminine. Ooh. Divine feminine. All right. Whoa. Okay. Flyers here. All right. We've got the Ten of Wands in reverse. We've got the Three of Pentacles in reverse. And we've got the Two of Cups. And the Two of Cups is upright. Okay? There is definitely an energy here for the Divine Feminine of um, finally starting to release these burdens. Uh, there has... And, and this, these rele this release is happening because there's a, there's a realization with the Three of Pentacles here in reverse, there's a realization that... Um, I guess the divine masculine, or this doesn't just have to be between you and your twin. Okay. Divine feminine. This could be with anybody, um, in your circle, anybody in your circle. This could be work, friends, family, twin, but there's a realization that someone just doesn't want to work together. Someone doesn't want to compromise. Someone doesn't want to cooperate. Someone doesn't want to master themselves. And as a result, Especially since there's this balance happening between masculine and feminine energy here, especially for the divine feminine, but that's who we're talking about right now, but it's happening for the divine masculine too, but the divine feminine is a little bit further in the spiritual path, so this is more of an integration rather than still, uh, I want to say, an ego battle between the two. But because of this coming together of masculine and feminine energy, there is... Now, finally, this release of the burdens with the Ten of Wands, okay? And understanding that if somebody doesn't want to cooperate, if someone doesn't want to work together, if, if someone doesn't want to be a team player, then that needs to be left behind. And the self, the reality of the self is more important than floundering around with, with individuals that... I just heard don't want to take responsibility for their actions and for the reality that they have find themselves in, the reality that ultimately they have created for themselves. Okay, and the other thing that <laughs> the other thing that's coming through with the two of cups is soulmates. There are some in the divine feminine collective that are actively seeking a soulmate. Why? Because she doesn't want to be alone anymore. She doesn't need to be alone. She does not deserve to be alone. The divine masculine, I'm sorry, the divine feminine has been doing a lot of work. So there's no reason to be alone. 
Okay. Cool. More flyers, guys. What is this? <laughs> the Divine Feminine really wants to talk, don't you? Um, we've got the Page of Pentacles in reverse. And there, there's that Ten of Wands again. Ten of Wands in reverse. With the Page of Cups. Again. Looking for something new. Something more. Understanding yourself more, Divine Feminine. Becoming closer with who you truly are and what you truly desire. What This is, this is coming to terms with, with, with what it is you truly desire, but also looking at it from a different point of view. Seeing that you absolutely can have whatever you want. It doesn't have to come through your Divine Masculine, I heard specifically. And how do I know that? Page of Pentacles in reverse. Not waiting around for him anymore. Now, think about it. Now, granted, we weren't, nobody is supposed to be waiting around for anyone anyway, whether that be divine feminine or divine masculine. And divine masculine, for you specifically, you don't, you don't need to be waiting around for someone else to change in order to do what it is you know you need to do or you want to do to get what you want in life. There is a refusal to stop waiting around, waiting for this. Knight of Pentacles to finally make it to the destination because he's moving so slow. And that is not to say that you now need to rush. No, nobody needs to rush. But it's also not necessary to wait. When I look at the Princess of Cups or the Page of Cups, I, I literally hear looking for new love at this point. And I want, and I'm being pressed to say that this is not necessarily out of ego. I mean, there's a little bit of pride here, maybe a little bit of ego, but this is coming from a place of self worth, understanding your true worth with the with the page of cups, understanding yourself on a deeper level, and understanding that you know you're worthy of des of of getting exactly what you desire. And it doesn't have to be from your divine masculine. Now, please understand, if you are in this energy of moving on, not necessarily moving on from the twin flame situation, but moving on from wanting or, or, or requiring that your romantic partnership come from your twin flame, what you need to be doing, instead of moving forward from this place, uh, uh, from a sense of ego, re revenge, um, I'm better than you, so I'm going to get something better, blah, blah, blah. Like, you don't deserve me. Like, no, 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 no. That is not a healthy place to be moving forward from. A healthy place to be moving forward from is to look at what you're moving forward from and being grateful for that experience. What does that mean? Being grateful for the twin flame experience. Being grateful for, have, for, for coming into contact with your twin flame and them being a catalyst to you becoming the be uh, better version of yourself than you were before. And I know this is starting to sound like a eulogy, almost, like a, a farewell, but it's not. It's really not. Because to be honest, you're never really going to be disconnected from your twin. They are a part of you. And in many cases, union has already happened in the fifth, in the 5D. This is just a matter of manifesting it in the 3D now, which is going to take some time. Even though time and space are an illusion. But you need to temper your movement with gratitude, compassion. Because think about it this way, Divine Feminine. Think about the pro your process of awakening. It was prolonged, wasn't it? And it was nuts, wasn't it? 11-11 on the counter. But at the same time, it has gotten you to a point where you can have the independence and the confidence in, your, in yourself and knowing who you are and knowing what you're worthy of and in being able to feel okay about going after that, whether your twin is involved or not. So think about what the Divine Masculine is going through right now. Their process is tumultuous. 
And even though it may look like on the three on the surface that they're not phased by it, they're not awake, blah blah blah, they're going through it. Even though they don't tell you. But you know that already because you can feel it. Which, yes, does make things much more complicated or f more frustrating because you feel this happening and then yet you're not getting any sort of physical evidence. And I put that in air quotes for a reason. But if you're going to move forward, Divine Feminine, do it with, from a place of gratitude, compassion, and love. Okay. Divine Feminine. Divine Feminine. All right, one more shuffle. Uh, a Divine Masculine, I don't want you to feel like you're... I don't want you... Well, regardless of what I want, that message that just came out is probably going to be pretty hurtful. But the divine is saying to me, is asking me to, to repeat this to you guys. You, you reap what you sow. You reap what you sow. There are many of you that were out there that were thinking that because we had this deep and crazy connection that the divine feminine was just gonna, always going to be around. <laughs> no. If you had the ability to go off and interact with others that weren't your Divine Feminine and do whatever, then why can't the Divine Feminine do that? I mean, why not? All right. Divine Feminine. Overall energy. We've got the Six of Wands in reverse. So many of us feel like there's a failure that we've failed on our mission as Twin Flames. But even before I finish that statement, the Divine is coming through and saying, no, no, you have not. For many of us, this is going to be a, this is a blessing in disguise. Whatever you're moving forward towards is absolutely a blessing in disguise. We've got Temperance in reverse. We've got the Five of Cups in reverse. And we've got the Eight of Pentacles. And the Eight of Pentacles is upright. So there is very much an energy of working towards that which you truly desire in the world. Um, a lot of this failure, feeling of failure, has come about with um, the lack of integration or the perceived lack of integration between the twins in the physical world. But what temperance in reverse is really saying to me is, number one, divine timing is at play here. But number two, this process of integration is still happening. It's ongoing. So no, you have not failed. But at the same time, there is a release of regret, remorse, shame, worry even, all of that. Mainly because the divine feminine has learned her worth or his or her worth, or whatever. This is energy, not gender. And because of that, because of the energies of um, feeling like you failed, now, the six of wands in reverse could be feeling like you failed because of all of the things that happened over the course of the journey. Feeling like you wish you could go back and change some of the things that were said and done some of the ways that the situation was approached, but you can't. And again, this is a blessing in disguise because ultimately it served to teach you something. I highly doubt that any of you that are moving forward that might be um, connecting with soulmates or, or different romantic partners other than your twin are going to approach the situation in the same way that you did with your twin. I highly doubt that. And if you have, and if you do, obviously you did not learn those lessons, and so you're just gonna have to repeat that cycle. Okay, that's fine. But for the most part, that's just not how it's gonna be. At this moment, the divine feminine is in the is very much in the mode of doing the work. 
thoroughly, not cutting corners. The Divine Feminine, you really have learned a very, very valuable lesson. And this is exactly why I'm saying move forward with gratitude, compassion, appreciation for the journey that you and your twin have been on and are still going to continue to be on. This journey is not over. Okay, the energy I'm feeling right now with what's coming through, this very much feels like some of us, some of some, maybe this is the divine masculine that's perceiving it in this way, but as if there's some sort of goodbye, some sort of farewell. That's not the case. But for right now, some are accepting defeat, cutting their losses, releasing themselves from, from regret and remorse. And moving forward. Most of that has to do with an understanding of self-worth. Okay? Let's get into the storyline here. First set of current energies for you, Divine Feminine, we have... Mm, the Five of Wands in reverse. Look at that. Releasing inner conflict is what I'm hearing. Five of Wands is coupled with... The Ten of Pentacles in reverse. Releasing inner conflict because uh, because things didn't come together, probably in the timeline that you wanted, and I'm, I feel like there is a lot there uh, that has a lot to do with expectation. But ultimately, things didn't work out or haven't been working out the way we had hoped. With the Ten of Pentacles in reverse, and there was an energy of being conflicted in the sense that, yeah, we knew this wasn't going in the direction that we had hoped for some time, but we were conflicted about moving away from it, right? Removing ourselves from the situation. Well, that conflict is coming to an end. Has ceased, or is, has either ceased to or is ceasing to exist. There's no reason to be conflicted about it anymore. Because until... Until situations are ideal for both Divine Feminine and Divine Masculine, this will not come together. But I am being pressed to remind you guys that temperance is here, Divine Feminine. So the process is still ongoing. The integration process is still happening. Divine timing is still at play here. There needs to be some more patience. But having patience doesn't mean holding yourself back from living your life. Okay? Next set of current energies, we have King of Cups. Upright, guys. Interesting. This could be you, Divine Feminine. Um, standing in your masculine power, being emotionally available, wanting to share love with someone. Also kind of protecting yourself. But this also could be your Divine Masculine. King of Cups is coupled with the Nine of Wands in reverse. I feel like with all of this said, there is an energy of um, the Divine Masculine not fighting anymore. Not resisting anymore. Laying down the resistance. But also, Divine Feminine, and this is what's actually what's really coming through much stronger. Divine Feminines are, at least for those of you that I'm channeling for. Now, obviously, I did say that this was a message for those in union or separation, anywhere in between. But if, obviously, you're, you're not necessarily in union if you're thinking about entertaining other romantic partners. So again, take this as it resonates. But there's also a big message coming through of the Divine Feminines not being resistant to the love of another. Someone that's on, that someone that's much more of a vibrational match. Emotionally available. Ready to be in a loving, com even committed relationship.
you might be out going out and seeking this, or you just may be releasing the resistance towards it and allowing the universe to just guide you. Current challenge for you, Divine Feminine, we have Eight of Cups. Walking away. And it has everything to do with this eclipse that we just went through. Because look at that full moon up there. Eight of Cups is coupled with Nine of Pentacles. Owning your power. Owning your reality. Knowing exactly who you are. Standing in your truth. Standing in your integrity. And I'm kind of getting a little bit of a Queen of Swords energy from this. Like walking away from that which doesn't serve you. That which doesn't serve your highest good is what I just heard. So if your relationship with your twin is still toxic, you are absolutely challenged with walking away, asserting your independence. And this is a challenge because there are some that are still struggling with this. Like, do I really walk away or not? And what does that mean if I walk away? Will I, will I never be in union with my twin? Will I never see my twin again? Will I never be able to communicate with my twin again? I don't know. Anything's possible. But that is, coming to terms with that is coming to terms with releasing expectation about the situation. Ultimately, if you're in a position right now where you're moving forward with your life, then you're doing so from a place of self-worth. Knowing who you are, knowing what you want, and knowing that you're worthy of receiving it. Regardless of where it comes from. Upcoming energies, Divine Feminine, we have the Knight of Swords. There could be some arguments coming forward. This could be an energy of the Divine Masculine rushing in. But it's kind of destructive with the Knight of Swords here. But he could be rushing in with truth. This, and, and, and actually, this is what I was picking up on with the King of Cups here and the Nine of Wands reversed. You releasing yourself from this situation and actively opening yourself up to, to the love of another could potentially get your Divine Masculine to come rushing in with some truth. Now, the delivery of that truth, how smooth that's gonna be with the Knight of Swords, Probably not so smooth, probably not so tactful. Knight of Swords is coupled with <laughs> the Six of Cups in reverse. What was I just saying, guys? You seeking out another soulmate could bring your Divine Masculine rushing back in. This is also an energy of cutting your divine masculine out, potentially. Like I'm seeing if there's some sort of conversation. Divine feminine, you just could be in a very combative state when it comes to it. And, if that, and in that case, I would caution you against being too hurtful. Be as tactful as you can if, if some sort of conversation arises. What I'm, what I'm really seeing here with the Knight of Swords upright and the Six of Cups reversed, whoever this Knight of Swords is doesn't like the fact that there's a new soulmate coming into play and is coming in, charging into the battlefield to reclaim his prize. But be very careful. Because if the Divine Feminine in this situation has finally reached a point where she's now open, he or she is now opening her, him or herself up to the love of another, there's probably a really good reason for it. So just be careful. I do recommend truth. I will always, I will always advocate for being truthful and being honest. In some cases, it might be a little bit too little, too little, too late, but. 
better late than never, right? Again, the energy right now feels like I'm giving a eulogy. Or I'm, I'm declaring some sort of farewell. That's not the case. Yeah, things feel pretty somber right now. They sure as shit do, but... Temperance here is saying, this is not over, guys. Integration is happening. All right. Let's get into Divine Masculine Energies. Starting you off, overall, we've got the Page of Cups in reverse. In this deck, it's the Princess. So we've got a little bit of mirroring already because the Page of Cups came out for the Divine Fe Feminine in her flyers. Page of Cups, oh boy, there's more mirroring. Official mirroring, Temperance in reverse. Even more mirroring, Eight of Pentacles in reverse. And the Six of Swords, upright. So what am I getting from this? All that resistance I was picking up on while I was shuffling. Divine Masculine, you are in a position where you are learning or you are being encouraged to understand yourself on a much deeper level with the, pri the Princess or the Page of Cups. But you're resisting that. Temperance is here trying to help you integrate, but you're resisting that. There is work that you need to do on behalf of this relationship, but again, you're resisting that. And what does that all add up to? Oh shoot, we'll get into that. <laughs> we'll get into that in a second. Six of Swords. Somebody's moving on. Can't wait around forever. And nor should anyone be subject to choppy waters all the time. It's not necessary. Nobody really deserves that. Not even you, Divine Masculine. But you just you're resisting any sort of change right now. And again, the divine is saying that is okay, because ultimately there are lessons to be learned in that. But what I'm also getting from the these three cards here, Temperance and Temperance, Page of Cups, Eight of Pentacles, all in reverse, you are learning to get to this deeper level. You're learning about the work that is needed. for this, to have this. All right, let's get into the storyline. First set of current energies for you, Divine Masculine. We have the, oh, wow, more mirroring the Knight of Wands in reverse. So it seems to a certain extent that some of the fight that you've been putting forward, Divine Masculine, is being let go of. The Resistance. Okay, so okay, so that resistance I was picking up on, some of you are letting go of it. Coupled with, yep, yeah, the chariot. It's funny how we as humans need to go through extreme pain or extreme turmoil to actually learn our lessons and start going after something that we've been wanting the whole time. But that's kind of, that's the energy that's happening here. This is a big lesson for you, Divine Masculine. In, the, in, in, in some cases where some of you are resisting, there isn't so much resistance. It's more of an integration. Again, learning about what it takes to have and keep and honor a connection like this. Second set of current energies for you, Divine Masculine, we have the Four of Swords in reverse. Coming out of a respite is what I just heard. Four of Swords is coupled with the Page of Pentacles in reverse. There's an energy of growing up here, of releasing the hold on um, some sort of materialistic immaturity. 
it's like you're finally seeing the value of growing up or ascending or um, letting go of um, I want to say letting go of material desires. Like it's like it's like you're finally coming to the point where you're learning that everything is not what it seems. Everything is, that does that clears is, is not gold, and there's more to life than just the material possessions. Current challenge for you, divine masculine. We have justice upright. So your, your current challenge is the karmic scales being balanced. And that is absolutely out of your control. Woof. Okay. What the divine is saying through this card is at this point, you have no say. You reap what you've sown. You gonna get what you gonna get. Justice is coupled with the seven of pentacles in reverse. Literally just said it. You reap what you've sown. But here, what's coming through here, right now, here, right now, justice is being served. And yes, you absolutely have no say in this right now in whatever you get in return because you have failed to learn this lesson in the past. You allowed yourself to run around willy-nilly thinking that it would never affect you. That the divine feminine would always just be there and you can do whatever you want. So you ran around planting seeds of deceit, racking up all kinds of nasty karma for yourself. And now it's time to pay the piper. I mean, yeah, that's rough. That's a hard lesson to learn, but uh, even the divine is like, I don't know what you want me to tell you. <laughs> we've, been, we've been trying to get through to you, but you have been resisting the call. So now you have to learn the hard way. And that's why I was saying it's funny. And I actually just did some readings for a few people um, right before I started this one, some personal readings. And in the last one I did, I, I mentioned why it's it's kind of fucked up how we as humans need to go through such tumultuous energy, go through such extreme situations before we learn our lesson. The divine feminine went through that. I mean, I, I resonate with that. I've been going through a period lately where I've been looking back on certain things that have happened over the course of the journey. And it's like, why did I have to act like that? And I couldn't help but wonder if I had completely destroyed the situation before it even had a chance to get off the ground. Of course, then I look, take a bigger picture, a, a, a bigger picture view of it. And it's like, okay, well, no, I didn't, I didn't, but I definitely had involvement in it. And it definitely took some extreme situations for me to finally get the damn message that the universe had been trying to give to me for years, even you could say. So Divine Masculine, you are not alone. You are still human, just like the Divine Feminine. So please don't think that, please don't let this drive you into a deeper spiral of lack of self-worth, of not being good enough. No, that is not, that is absolutely not what the Divine is saying here. What the Divine is saying is you have to learn your lesson. You have to reap what you have sown so that you can experience that and not create it in the future. Contrast. We have to experience that which we don't want so that we have a greater understanding of what we do want. That way we can plant better seeds for the future. The divine is saying expressly, all is not lost. All right? Upcoming energies for you, divine masculine, we have the nine of pentacles in reverse, more mirroring. So some of you are really going to be faced with Losing your independence, lack of independence, being humbled is what I'm really getting from this. Why? Because of this justice that's coming through. Nine of Pentacles in reverse is coupled with the Page of Wands. I'm sorry, not the Page, the Knight of Wands. Or in this deck, it's the Prince of Wands. 
in reverse. <laughs> I'm hearing some of you might be lacking that libido you so confidently touted everywhere. There's also an energy of um, being humbled, being knocked off your pedestal, knocked off your high horse because of la a lack of stepping into your spiritual warrior, light worker, even twin flame status. Because the Knight of Wands to me can very much come across as the spiritual warrior, uh, even a spiritual crusader. You're being, you're going to be humbled to the awareness of how you have let certain, or some of you have let player attitudes, player mindsets, bachelor mindsets, what kind of, what, what not, whatever, um, selfishness, lack of integrity, even it's all going to come roaring up into your face. And that's not a projection. That's not a prediction even because it's right here in your current challenge. Justice with the seven of pentacles in reverse. All right. Okay. Boy, this is a heavy reading today, huh? <laughs> All right. Let's get into the animal spirits here. All right. For the Divine Masculine, one card, please, Spirit. Divine Masculine. Divine Masculine. Divine Masculine. There we go. Butterfly. Okay. It is in reverse. Let's leave it that way. For the Divine Feminine. And honestly, what I'm getting with the butterfly in reverse is that there's still resistance to a transformation. Divine Feminine. Divine Feminine. One card, please, Spirit. Divine Feminine. There we go. Otter. Okay. The shadow dynamic, please, spirit. Shadow dynamic here. Here we go. Starfish. Yeah. It is in reverse, though. And the illuminated dynamic. Frog. Okay. Okie dokie, guys. For the Divine Masculine, we've got Butterfly. Where is it? Give me just a second here. Butterfly. Undergoing great change and transformation. The energy of the butterfly is with us during periods of transition. Since air is the element of the heart, this change usually involves relationships, or if you, if you love your job, perhaps your career. Since transition is accompanied by some amount of discomfort, be extra patient and kind during this time, especially if the butterfly is you. Let solid friends and activities support you like a, quote, cocoon, committing to one daily routine, a meal, practice, or prayer done at the same place and time will do wonders for lifting a butterfly's spirit. When in balance, butterfly is cheerful and graceful. When out of balance, butterfly is fragile and frustrated. To bring into balance, one must practice a daily routine. So yes, this did come out in the reverse, and I was picking up on some resistance to the transformation, but also a transformation is happening. And in some cases, it might take a while. 
because of all the resistance that has been built up. All right, for the Divine Feminine, we've got Otter. <laughs> Unobstructed joy, playfulness, contentment. Unobstructed joy is kind of like the perfect word for the Divine Feminine right now. Perhaps the most joyful creature within the animal spirit deck, the otter represents absolute bliss. Otter energy is the playfulness of a child, available to us at any age. They have a giddiness and reverence for life itself, without the presence of doubt, worry, or skepticism. Imagine yourself with a little more otter energy. What would, look, what would life look like? What would it take to bring you there? The otter card begs these questions and wants to transport us to that precious place as soon as possible. The celebration awaits. When in balance, Otter is full of love and needs nothing. When out of balance, Otter is gloomy, sighs, and makes silly excuses. To bring into balance, have a dance party or a celebration. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Um, the shadow dynamic is starfish. Starfish, beautiful, alluring, superficial, or shallow. The starfish is a natural and exquisite beauty, mesmerizing to all. Being around someone with starfish energy is a thrill, like you've been put under a spell of divinity itself. The problem is, these creatures have been reliant on how they look and what other people think of them for so long that they may have forgotten their deeper callings. When this card appears, it's important to ask, am I being swayed by outward appearances? What dreams have I put aside to please others? When in balance, starfish is uplifting, artistic, and expressive. When out of balance, starfish gossips and feels empty. To bring into balance, one must have some positive friends. So this came out in reverse. For the divine masculine, it's very much the superficiality of things. Am I being swayed by outward appearances? What dreams have I put aside to please others? For the Divine Feminine, it's the same thing. But see, in that sense, it's what dreams have I put aside to please others? Divine Masculine. Putting your dreams and goals to the side to wait for your Divine Masculine to, to come into your life. No. No, no, no. And whereas the Divine Feminine is actually coming out of that right now, the Divine Masculine is still kind of stuck in it. But the Divine is saying he's they're learning their lessons from it. So hey, ultimately it's serving its purpose, isn't it? That's a good thing. That is absolutely a good thing, guys. All right, the illuminated dynamic of the relationship is frog. Frog. Clearing, cleansing, healing. The frog and the water element are almost inseparable. The frog spends its first months of life entirely within this healing element and then emerges to rest on land. But no matter how, quote, earthly the frog becomes, its need for cleansing and rejuvenation is regular. Frogs tend to become overworked and undernourished, so it's vital that such sensitive creatures practice self-care. This card serves as a reminder that water helps us cleanse, forgive, and release. Time to dive in. Frogs aren't meant to carry a heavy load. When in balance, frog is clear, has clear energy and enthusiasm for life. When out of balance, frog feels depleted run, and is running on empty. To bring into balance, one must take some time away at a lake, river, ocean, or bathhouse. Um, and actually, the transformational aspect of a frog is um, resonating with the transformational aspect of a butterfly. Frogs start as tadpoles. Butterflies start as caterpillars. There's a lot of water here. Frog, otter, and starfish with some air. Okay, I would like to now close out the reading with some oracle guidance from the or no the light worker. <laughs> Sorry, the light worker oracle. 
Yeah, it's this is this is a heavy reading. It's quite somber. It's quite somber. But I really I really don't it's not the end. It might feel like it, but it's not. And I want I want everyone to take note of the fact that both the divine masculine and the divine feminine have temperance in reverse in their overall energies. So, balance and integration are very much at play. All right? Okay. They're even on like the same side as each other. Like they're literally face, like look at that. There's temperance for the divine feminine. Here's temperance for the divine masculine. Like they're in line with each other. So this is in alignment. This is orchestrated. Aluna Ash says that all the time. It's crazy. It's almost scary how orchestrated this whole thing is. Divine timing is at play. Everything is happening for a reason. Everything has been set up this way in order for the lessons that are necessary to learn be learned. All right? All right, Spirit, one message for the Twin Flame Collective to close out this reading, please. One message for the Divine Twin Flames to close out this reading, please, Spirit. Closing message. Oh, Lord, there's three. <laughs> okay. We've got card number 31, Alchemical Mutation, card number 17, Family of Light, and card number 19, An Invitation to Connect. So I'm going to read just a little bit of each one. 31, Alchemical Mutation. Yes, Alchemical Mutation. Your spiritual growth is changing your mind, body, and soul. It is very real. It is happening, I'm sorry, it's helping you fulfill all aspects of your divine destiny. It is awakening spiritual talents and attracting in new energies. This process will bring tremendous joy and satisfaction. Okay. Cool. Yeah, there's, obviously there's a lot of transformational energy right here. We've got Butterfly. We've got frog. We've got alchemical communication. I'm sorry, alchemical mutation. All right. The next card is family of light. Now I'm already picking up. Okay. So this is a this is a card number thirty one. This is a, a a message directly for the divine masculine. All right. So you're definitely going through a transfer transformation, divine masculine. And that is absolutely a good thing. Card number 17 here, Family of Light, is a combined message for both Divine Feminine and Divine Masculine. And then finally, card number 19, An Invitation to Connect, is a message for the Divine Feminine specifically. And I really feel like that, to, that I'm going to read that one next, but I really feel like an Invitation to Connect is for some of you or some of us in the Divine Feminine community that have been refusing to connect lately. <laughs> well, I guess my phone just confirmed that, didn't it? <laughs> Who are you and what do you want? Oh, hi. Okay. Um, all right. Card number 19, an invitation to connect. Love exists throughout our universe. Many loving beings that do not belong to the human race exists in worlds beyond the earthly realm. Among these are those who are aware of the spiritual plight of humanity and are willing to and able to help us move forward. Unlike those who, who close their minds because they fear the unknown, you have an open mind and an open receptive heart. Beings from other worlds recognize you as a receptive channel for their unconditionally loving assistance in this world. You will both benefit from this individually and help the planet. So you are being offered an invitation to connect. You're also, Divine Feminine, being offered an invitation to connect with the people around you. And you're encouraged to follow your heart in those connections, regardless of how it might turn out. As long as your heart is in alignment 
and you feel good about what you're doing, by all means, continue. All right? Combine, combined message for the whole collective. Here we have card number 17, family of light. The limits that much of humanity place upon their love, that they will love their own family, country, religion, or community better than they love those on the outside, do not restrain your heart. You are capable of loving humanity, of loving all of creation on earth as an extended spiritual family. You will love all as your own. You are meant to belong to a broader family of light. Yeah, I'm going to leave it there. So, are we okay? <laughs> that was a pretty intense message, wasn't it? Lots of somber energy. But, this is all part of the process. Alright guys? Much love to you all. Uh, if you hear things in the background, that's just my roommates having a good time. But anyway, much love to you guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. And I look forward to connecting with you again next week. Yeah? Take care. Mwah. Bye.